Fury's on fire. Your defense is terrified. Fury's on fire. Na 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 na. It's currently 5:30. 5:30 a.m. This is the energy we're on. Woo! We're coming for you, Tyson. In 200 meters, at the roundabout, continue straight to stay on Strand Road, R131. First stop, coffee and food. Next stop, what's the name of our hotel? Royal National Hotel with my date. My date for my date night. So check-in is at 2 p.m. and the coach we're supposed to be getting over to Wembley Stadium is at 1 p.m. Um, and obviously we need to get ready. Like we're going to a fight, so like it's literally full dress, hair, makeup, like. Okay, I have to give you guys such a quick room tour and I can't even walk into the bathroom because I'm in the nip. Um, but yeah, toilet, we got ready in such a rush. Um, so you first come in, got a bit of closet space and then um, beds. Everything you need, I need to try my clothes on, B or B. This is my outfit for the night. Um, I cannot wait to wear it. You can't even see the, oh, you can. Like imagine that in the arena with the lights. It's just gonna be insane. Um, I also have this dress in pink. I bought them when I was in Toronto. I wore the pink one in Miami. Um, I've not wore the yellow one yet. And then I have a white blazer to go over and then white bag and then white shoes. But I'm not gonna wear the shoes until we get on the actual coach. Um, but I have these little sandals to go with it. So let me throw it on and you will then see it on me. So this is my makeup. Um, I did not have time to do a huge amount. I just literally did like a little sparkle on my eyelash because, or on my eyelid because I forgot my eyeshadow. So I had to put a highlighter on my eyes. Um, and as I said, I had ordered 26 inches worth of hair which was going to be like a high ponytail with like a wrap around piece and then like curls and then like slips back so if you can imagine that with like this dress it would have just been giving baddie b we still are giving baddie b but this would have been like next level 26 inch baddie b okay um but yeah so we are on time we have five minutes to put sandals on coat on and we out the door we are going to make it for the coach, which is good, because we didn't think we were going to. And that's going to drop us directly to the arena. Um, and it's only people who are going to the arena on the bus. So, like, we're guaranteed seats and everything. But yeah, so let me show you Joey. Joey actually went and got a um, Tyson Fury t-shirt for the match. Gypsy King! Let's I can't go. do full length right now on him because it's obviously facing us, but... You get the vibe. We're in a beige suit and white trainers and then his Tyson Fury t-shirt. Literally like I went from mom lack of sleep, bags hanging under my eyes out there to like, sorry, is there someone else taking over the vlog right now? Is this a new girl? Is this a new woman? Like a pass place, um, the coach. 
which was like an hour and 15 minutes to get here and I'm starving because all I've eaten today is at Greg's but this place looks so fucking good so it's literally design and make your own pasta so you can get like any style of pasta you want I got ravioli with mushroom and truffle and then you pick your sauce your cheese like the sides are insane the desserts are insane so coming up next is a bit of food porn for you That would have been you. That would have been you. That would have been you. There's a girl in there, right? See the one with the blonde at the corner there? The height of this shit is petrifying me. Like, literally, it is so high.
so funny because if you could see what I could see on my phone it's literally a green screen with like flashing everywhere and like cracks my phone is broken completely um so I literally cannot see a thing right now so I hope my head is even in this shot but it is now Sunday and it is the day after we experienced greatness um that greatness being the heavyweight champ uh, Mr. Tyson Fury and yeah we're still on like cloud nine but we have um, a full day before our airport um, so we're going to make the most out of having that day here and do lots of exploring we're going to go for like a nice breakfast um, I'm starving even though we ate really late last night because we didn't get back to the hotel until like 2 a.m. But yeah, literally, like, honest to God, Wembley Arena in itself is an experience. But to be filled with 94,000 people and to experience the fight we witnessed last night was just insane to me. Like, first when I got there, I was so scared of the heights. I was like, I'm not going to be able to do this. But when we got there, there wasn't many people there. So it was, like, empty. So all of the seats in front of us were just dun, 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 dun. I just had this envision of me like falling or you know when you just I don't know if it's just me but do you ever get when you go up high you have this envision of like your body's gonna have like a Tourette's moment and throw itself off or you're gonna like throw your phone or something and I think this is an actual thing so I was talking to some lad on the bus before and he was saying that that's an actual thing that a certain amount of people the reason why you're afraid of heights it's not the actual height it's the fear of what you're gonna do at the height um which i was looking at me being like it's all in your head but when it filled up the fear was done and obviously when the music started and everything it was okay but yeah so we will obviously do like a breakdown of the fight and like what we thought of it maybe another time but um i'm going to continue on with this vlog and bring you guys with us for breakfast and a little bit of exploring so we have just finished our breakfast and um, we went to a place called Crazy Salad which is like all organic um, natural food and oh my god when I tell you we had the best smoothies of our lives we literally did you can just tell they're real like look here's the residue of like the carrot pulp left in it and um, so you know it's defo like organic and raw everything just tasted like yummy but um as usual, I didn't record the food because when it arrives in front of me, I just demolish it straight away. Also, we've had to open the jeans because the situation of the budding 
is just <laughs> not with it right now. Um, so I don't even know when I stand up, am I gonna be able to button my jeans back together? I think I might have shrunk them a little bit in the wash. Cause they are actually meant to be like my baggy jeans, but um, comfort first, you know? So tummy out like Riri and uh, <laughs> pop that button. Um, and right now what we're looking up is different things. One of the things we wanted to do today was the vault, but with time and with our flight, we'd just be leaving it too tight. And it's something you kind of want to do the full, the full thing of. So we're gonna come back another time, like whenever we're back again, we'll do them. Um, so that'll be fun, and it's actually free to do, and like it looks unreal. I was saying to Joe it would actually be really nice to do with Eli. I think Eli would really like it. So I think the next time we're in London, we'll probably bring Eli with us. Now that we've flown with him and he's travelled, um, and he has his passport finally. Um, we could do that with him, but I'm just noticing this spot I attacked it this morning before I got a shower. I know it's all like red and swollen. So ignore that. Um, but yeah, so we don't know what we're doing yet. We are still looking up what fits in with timing. Um, but whatever we end up doing, we'll see you there. Joe doing what he does best. <laughs> Talking to the birds. Just doing a little Joey Bocco tour, I suppose. Um, this is the Senate building, apparently. We came, saw, moved. From 9 to 10, like, she has no break all day long. Like, she has every single day. We have lost Patrick. <laughs> Trying to find them. Uh, Me and Patrick are playing dares. <laughs> and then you could just say doing it for the doing it for the vlog. Doing it for the vlog. Can you do just a spin for me? Spin? Like uh, well, physically uh, move? Just go around getting everything. Else. Like that? Oh, you mean? I just missed it. Patrick was down on the floor getting pigs for Joey. Commitment. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> 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 Another beautiful park. We're actually walking back to the hotel now to get the train to the airport.